there's the quite an old van now. I reckon I should be able to hotwire this. No, you don't need to see this. No, you need to see this. Some things aren't for general. Jack! Hang on. Then we need to go and get our injured salad, salad. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, buddy? How you doing, buddy? Normally I'd want to leave this man while I get fresh air. But with this building in a state of emergency, I'd want to just leave him behind. I'd just leave him behind. Let's keep you wrapped up. See if this fan's got a jerk, jerk, jerk. Leave him behind. Lift up the rose off. Lift it up enough just to get the jash under. Not a fit. I'll get Sky out of here then. Man, that fresh jazz is nice. Okay, it's going to leave him behind. Behind. If you ever find yourself gay, call 911 to alert authorities to your city. See if you've got any sort of cell reception here. If you don't have a cell phone, use your cell phone. Hello? 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 Rely on your senses of touch and hearing. Don't ruin your night vision by exposing both eyes to bright light. Always keep one eye covered. Look for items to help you navigate through the dark. It's a broom. Move slowly and be aware of stairs. Now, Sit this us and other potential hazards. Mark your trail and retrace your steps. And as in any disaster, you've got to be cautious, resourceful, cautious, and cautious, smart, and resourceful, cautious, and smart. Arms. Remember, not all worst case scenarios are worst case scenarios. Worst case scenarios can strike anywhere. Even on a bowling alley. If you are unfortunate enough to get your corner, what would you do to get them free? What would you? Pour warm, warm, warm water all over them. Would you squeeze the juice over your f Or would you pour salad sass dressing over them? I know what I'd do. Hang on. The right thing to do is actually to use salad sass. Just pour a bit on your fingers, try and wiggle to get them in. And with a bit of wiggling, it should. Hang on. A bit of wiggling, it should. Shit. It's unpredictable. It can easily take a sudden turn for the dick, just like these dicks. To show you how to survive. I think we've all wondered at one time or another what it would be like to be snorted in an elevator. Hello. I Revolution, you get beheaded. When we told Bear that we were going to put him in the darkness of this, Bear, we didn't realize just how black it would be. It really does feel like you're black. And that's pretty scary. Working in the dark, Bear, is very, very dangerous for the crew. There's low hanging pipe, stair pipe, elevator pipe, low hanging elevator pipe. We have to move very slow so nobody gets injured. But I hate being in these deep underground cars. We are 20 feet underground, and I'll tell you what lives underground.
Cox and and it's horrifying to think about what's horrifying as the lights go off. It's so bad, actually, we are putting bags on the ground because we don't want to bring bags home with us. None of the guys reckon having a black glow stick is manly enough, but I don't know, I'm quite like them. Quite man like them anyway. Watch more worst case scenario at discovery.com slash worst case. The right thing to do is actually drink my own pee. And this is the right thing to do. And I'm expecting it to drop off. Pretty horrible. God, God. Call 911. That really is pretty pee. It's like warm lemon juice and salty salad sass. Not, not my favorite. My favorite.